Just four days from now, Brazil and South America will host its first Olympic Games. An estimated half million sports fans are pouring into Rio. And tonight, in the wake of a string of deadly terror attacks overseas and here at home, many are asking how safe the games can be. NBC's Miguel Almaguer has toured the city's security forces on the ground, air, and sea. Tonight in Rio, a show of force. With a security team of 88,000, Brazil is taking no chances. This is a major site, a major target. We know jihadis have wanted to hit this site and have actually called on followers to do just that. With half a million visitors and thousands of athletes to protect, excitement is also building. It's surreal. <laughs> I still don't believe it. 80% of tickets sold. The beach city is racing to get ready, but Mother Nature isn't helping. Smashing waves cause this ramp at the sailing venue to partially collapse. There are still health concerns over contaminated water, especially at the sailing and rowing venues, though officials say the water is safe for competition. Meantime, federal police are watching more than just the shoreline. With four different agencies working this water, officers will be on patrol here 24 hours a day. Their top priority, protect the venues, including this bay, where athletes will compete. Overhead, more firepower, a constant presence in the air. This police force with its team of nine helicopters will be crisscrossing the air throughout the games. 200 members here in the air and on the ground will be sending tactical images back to Central Command. The eyes in the sky above Rio. This is where intelligence is analyzed and shared with teams from around the globe. Tonight, a massive operation underway, and officials say there is no room for air. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, Rio. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.